Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and uh, good afternoon everybody. So for today is the uh, last day for chapter five. So we will continue to discuss uh, remaining questions in chapter five. So previously we already studied about um, stereochemistry and how to you want to determine the stereogenic centers, what is uh, the keras, kira carbon, how to determine the number of uh, enantiomers, uh, no, enantiomers, terastromers, estereoisomers, okay, to power of n. So what's next? Um, our NIS configurations, you have to arrange based, based on uh, purity, based of the size of the molecules, uh, the elements. And lastly, we are doing some exercise, okay. For the previous exercise, we already discussed about uh, RNS configuration, which is quite important. Okay. And next, we will do this kind of exercise. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. So, so we have um, we have this uh, A A compound. So let me you know. It's not changed. Okay. We A we have A. So draw all possible stereoisomers. All they have all here. Yeah? Possible stereoisomer and label these stereoisomers as enantiomers or or diastromers. Okay, so so okay, I will do, I will I will just draw a and for the C this structure I will uh, do assignment for enantiomer or diastromers. Okay. I just left. I just left a few homework for you to do by yourself. Okay. So if they set all uh, possible stereoisomers, you have to know that's two power of n. Okay. So in this case, you have to determine first uh, the where is the Kira center. So there is. Uh, you have to go and back to the definition of Kira center. So this one to make sure you are not really confused, just put proton here. Okay. So they have four different substitutions here. So this is number one and this is number two. So n equal to two, two power of n is two power of two, four, right? So when it's go to the four, so you have to draw all possible stereoisomers. Okay, so the first one, what you can draw is I just, to make it easy for everybody, you can draw like this also. Mm, okay, boleh lah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Skeletal, I just put the chlorine here. The front. This one. At the back. And OH also because there is a priority <coughs> priority numbers higher, so I just put in front OH. Okay. okay, I just label this one as E. So I just put a mirror here. Okay, and I put draw the second structures. Okay. Okay. So the second one, okay, this one to draw this or each, this one, each. Okay, this one is CL. Last one is nitrogen B. Okay. And for the C1, I just change this carbon. Okay. It's other one. Okay. If you want, uh, I just for A, I just change uh, this carbon. Okay. The positions. If you want to change this position, it's okay also. Okay. Make sure you at least change the one carbon only. 
okay because they have two okay so i changed the new one it should be draw below this one is easy to to check but i don't have any space here so i will draw this L H and this one H C L I label S C and lastly I put the mirror again reflect the structures again like this okay so this one is H, this one is CL, hey, no CL, this one is OH. OH. CL. No, no, this one is CL, this one is OH, yeah. Okay, and this one is, uh... sorry, I'm confused here. Okay, H, O, okay, this one is a C, this one is BO. CL and this one H and D. So you can based on the first uh, first lecture note, first part of lecture note, you can easily compare this these uh, relations whether there is an enteroma or gastromas. You can do that. Okay, I believe you can do that because I I just finished half and you another half you you have to finish. Okay, so for the C for the C we will do that one this one. Okay. For the C, I just changed the, the slide. Okay, so we have our the structures. In case you like this, okay. So for the C, we have these kind of structures. Okay. Oh no, CH3. This one is CH3. Okay, again, uh, doesn't want to make anybody confused for the H here. So we still have two serogenic center. So two power of N, two power of two, four. Okay, that in part. So again, draw the structures. In 3D conformation, so I prefer to draw like this. Okay, this one I label as A or one Romans. It is up to you. Put the mirror here. Okay. So doing some refractions. Okay. So again, similar like this. So in this one, you will have H. OH. Okay. So this one is H. And this one is OH. And I label this one as a B. Okay. okay. Try buat dulu lah eh. If you are harapkan jawapan, susah juga kan? You can try buat dulu. Okay. So, lastly, I just changed one carbon. In this case, I want to change carbon. Mana ada tukar. Carbon here lah. Okay. You can change also carbon here also, but I want to be here. Okay. So I just do it like this. Okay. So here I change the positions of hydrogen. This one is OH. And just maintain these positions. Okay. Hydrogen. This one is OH. Again. I repeat the process. Yep. Okay. 
draw the reflection. So this one I label as C, this one I doing as reflections. This one I label as SD. So again, okay. So are we just doing uh, the analysis for this one, okay? So A and B is trauma. Okay. A and C okay, between this one and this one. Okay. A and C, B and C is yes, the aroma. Okay. Because uh, the difference between A and C, just only one, one carbon, which is D. Okay, for B and C, the difference only this one. Okay. Okay. So, and lastly, C and, C and D is identical. No, I don't take it. Okay, and we can conclude this one is a so compound. Okay, go to the definitions. Okay, so slow. I have so slow last, but for today, that doesn't have much uh, exercise remaining. Okay. Okay, I record this session, don't worry, you can see after this, okay? So, okay, determine if each compound is identical or enantiomers, okay? You can refer your textbooks, question 4.43. How to do that, okay? If you are not really under, uh, understand for the previous uh, exercise, like we do both, okay? You can do this kind of technique, okay? So for the first one, you have to determine which one is the Kira center, okay? Which is this one, Kira center. And after that, determine whether this one is R or S configurations. Determine R or S configurations. Okay, you know how to how to determine it, okay? You can do by yourself. I just sharing the data. Yeah, the answer okay so for this one this one just label this one is r configurations r isomer okay lah, lah. okay for a you just determine one by one okay this one is s okay uh, put the priority this one number one and you continue okay and this one is r Okay, and this one is S. So R and S is enantiomer. Okay. Uh, A and R and R is identical. Okay. R and S is in enantiomer. Okay, one Kira center doesn't have any diastroma. Okay, more than one, more than two, they have diastroma. Okay, jangan you buat buat pandai tiba tiba you tulis net diastroma. Eh, ring. Okay, okay. 
रखना है ओके नेक्स्ट डू द सेम थिंग फॉर दिस वन ओके आई जस्ट शेयर द इजीएस्ट वे टू डू द मोस्ट पॉपुलर टेक्निक सो इफ यू वांट टू थिंक डिफरेंटली देन माइन इट्स ओके but make sure in the end the answer is correct okay if you do like this it's quite difficult right but to the easiest way is we just determine rns configuration is easily you can capture in an tumor their stroma or mesocompa or identical okay identical is configuration is same okay so for this one 5.61 Saya jangan ambil daripada buku lah senang eh. Semua orang buat hati. Okay. So, okay. For this kind of compounds, what you have to do is how each compound related is similar. Okay. Okay. So, you have to uh, yeah, you have to name it as a yes, steroma uh, in an teoma or identical okay how to do it okay so you have to determine this one how many kira center here you have to go in back to the original definitions have different substitutions okay this one is a uh, okay so they have two so you have to determine this one this one is R, this one is R, okay, mm, just, yeah, okay, in naming, this one is carbon number two, one, two, three, so I can put it to R, three R, okay, the second one, okay, you, we have in here, this killer center, lucky I they give you this already, the, the orientations, otherwise you have to put by yourself, okay, so this one is uh, S and this one is R, okay, it's become 2S, 3R, okay, ingat ni carbon nombor satu dalam kes ni lah, eh, so that's why I name it 1, 2S, 3R, okay, so for this one we have satu from here, okay, So this one is R, this one is R. So to R, three R. Okay, make yourself familiar how to rotate everything the carbon bond. Okay, so anti-clockwise, clockwise, how to change the answer. You have to do more exercise for that. Okay, okay. So I just sharing how to the easiest way to determine this one whether they say they are stromer, enantiomer, or identical. Okay, lastly, for this one, so okay, doesn't have anyone, so you have to put, okay, this one is hydrogens, okay. So for this one is S, this one is S. So <coughs> 2 S, 3 S, because it's thing from number one here. Okay, so come to conclusions. Okay. Correlations between this one to this one is uh, okay in an diastroma because only this carbon number two is different, right? Okay. Okay, Chanji, I nampak you up you muka empat orang ya nampak sebab ada minimas, present. Okay. So for B, R and R similar. So this one is identical. Okay. And the last one, S and S, totally different here. It's in an Okay. Oh, sorry. Go to the original definitions, the yes, stroma and enantioma. 
but to make it easy, enantioma, all the kira carbon is different. The astroma, only one different. In this case, only one different. The rest is similar. Okay. Okay, next question. A natural product was isolated and its observed rotation was plus 10 degrees when measured in one decimeter cubes. I already give you this one. The length cubes, one gram in the 10 ml of water. They ask you to find the specific rotations. Okay. You remember that I asked you to memorize uh, three equations, right? Okay, so we know that uh, specific rotations is okay, alpha, okay, length times concentrations. Okay, this one is observe rotations which is this one. Okay, so L is length tube in decimeter. Don't forget the units. Okay, the last one is concentrations, right? ML. Again, don't forget the units. Okay, so okay, masuk ni lah. Ten degrees. Okay, one decimeter times one gram over ten ml. How much? Berapa dapat? How much you get? Ah, 100. 100. 100 what? Vector. Yes, should be positive. Don't forget, eh? It's positive value because this one is positive. The vector, okay? Don't forget, eh? Tak ada positive. Okay. Salah, eh? Tak ada positive. Salah. Okay. Next. Okay, they have two questions here. Okay, pure MSG. You all know, siapa yang masak ada pun selalu, uh, selalu jumpa MSG, kan? Monosodium glutamate, eh? Exhibit a specific rotations of plus 24. This is information that they're given to you. Okay, specific rotation. What is that? Alpha. Eh? Alpha in bracket. Okay. First, first task, you have to calculate the EE. Okay, and then in enantiomeric excess for the solution whose alpha is plus 10. So we know that, okay, they nak minta you kira EE. For E, okay, EE, eh? EE, EE is, okay, alpha mixture. They have two formula, right? Divide by alpha Euro in enter. Okay. Yep. Times hundred because they need you to prepare in percentage. Okay. So okay. So for the A for A A. Okay. What we have? Okay. Plus ten. Okay. Plus ten is mixture. 
divide by plus 24 times 100. So, berapa dapat? Berapa dapat? Saya bagi siapa buat? Dia cek kalkulator sekejap. Okay lah, 41.67. Yes, Alistair, yes. But, just rounding. Okay. It's 42. Persen. Okay. Sebab degree, degree, degree habis. Eh. And 42%. EE. Eh. Macam mana kau nak sukat 41.67? Eh. If you playing wrong with angles. Eh. Okay, so B. Okay, for the B. Okay, we are doing for the B now. Okay. Uh, if the E of the solution of MSG is 80%, what is alpha for the solutions? Okay, they have already give you uh, EE. Okay, so alpha solutions dividing by plus 24 because it's already stayed here for the pure and enthroma okay so times 100 equal to 80 percent okay so just do it blah 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 blah, blah. and the answer is ah, so we'll later on what Baba. okay correct correct plus 90.2 percent eh 90.2 90.2 okay betul ya oh 90 okay okay boleh faham dah eh yang eh, nak tengok soalan kejap eh Daniel oh it's okay it's okay but plus minus is very important it's okay it's so many uh, meaning if you forget to to put plus or minus okay okay question seven now okay i think last question so, okay this kind of compounds 5 .70, 5 .70. Okay, this compound is anti-cancer draw. Okay, if specific rotation, they already mentioned here, specific rotations, is this value? What is the alpha? For the solutions that contain 75% of this one, and 25% is in enteroma. So how to do that? So, okay, first we have to uh, understand how, what is the EE for this one. Okay, so we know that EE is 75%. Okay, the solutions contain this one, 75%, minus 25% of its enantioma. So the EE will be 50%. Right. Tengok balik the definition masuk EE ni. Yeah. And after that, we know also EE equal to alpha solution divided. Yeah. Alpha Q. Okay. So in this case, EE, we already know 50 percent. Okay. So we need alpha dividing plus 41.5. Okay. Times this one, eh? So please help me calculate. We need alpha solutions. 
20.75 yes correct okay you boleh buatlah 20.8 okay last eh jangan lupa okay Zufika good okay for B Okay, for B, B, okay, uh, what is the E of the solutions with alpha? They already give you the alpha value is plus 10.5. Okay, so E, e for the solution. Okay, so we know this by using this one. Okay, E, E, alpha. Divided alpha. Okay, times hundred. Okay, we already have the the numbers. Okay, plus uh, plus five. Okay, times forty one. Forty one. Five times hundred. Okay. Anybody uh, can have me to calculate this one? Twenty-five. Yes. You can answer twenty-five. Don't forget uh, percentage. Eh? You can. You can answer also twenty-five point point three is correct also. Okay. Don't forget e e at the back. Okay. I think that's all. Okay, Alhamdulillah. We just finished uh, chapter five. So I think I just contact Dr. Yang today, this, uh, this morning. And she said, she advised me that uh, maybe we can make uh, more exercise for chapter four. Maybe she, 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 she just give you a hint, maybe <laughs> more question for chapter four. So we will ask, uh, we will, I will give you some exercise for chapter four. Uh, he asked me to explain more about the flip structures for the chair conformers, how to do the flip structures from uh, conformer A to conformer B. And after that, uh, you have to decide which one is the more stable one. I think that, that, that there is a, the, 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 what I understand from my conversations with uh, coordinators Dr. Young this morning. So I will, we will do more exercise for chapter four, and maybe I will post a few, a mixture of questions for chapter four and chapter five. Okay, I just prepare a few questions before this. So I, I think we can, I will post after this, okay? So uh, I think that's all for today. Please uh, try again how to do this one, okay? And this one also, okay? It's better to do more exercise about this, this one and make yourself familiar. The challenge is if we have, okay, if we have more, uh, more compounds, this one is kind of symmetry. If what if the compound we have, like this for examples, for examples, I'm not sure. Okay, so for example, like this, maybe. So if they, we are doing reflections, is become like this. How you want to know and assign the whether it's uh, an enantiomer, diastromer, something like that. So I think this one, this example have been show is in lecture notes so just go through this one and uh, understand okay and to make it easy for you make sure you you know uh, this is the hardest one how to want to determine the enantioma the soma you have to put the mirror and something do some uh, reflections the easiest way to do it if you have this kind of questions just determine the kira center where there is r and s configurations and assign and check by one by one. So, okay, if there are two more carbon difference, okay, like this one, and this one, this one, like this one, we call an enantiomer. If they have only one different, one same, okay, it's their stromers. If they are both are similar, they are identical, of course. Okay, for the one kira center compounds, it doesn't have any diastroma, only enantiomers. Okay, okay, just a conclusion for chapter five. So we already studied about the uh, stereoisomers. Okay, it's different with constitutional isomers, and what uh, we already uh, know how to determine the Kira center, oestrogenic center, 
And what's next? Uh, we already studied about the RNS configurations, how to determine it anti-clockwise, eh? uh, clockwise directions. And you have to assign the priority number based on size of elements, eh? not size of the molecules, the elements, okay? Uh, connecting between car carbons and the neighboring compounds, okay? So if you have this kind of compounds, for example, like uh, if it doesn't have any dysfunctional group, you have to assign which one is the dash, which one is, which one is a uh, uh, wages. So uh, put the wages at the front as a priority number one, okay? For the dash is uh, the lowest number priority number. No. In this case, it's number one, and this one is uh, number four, okay? Okay, so uh, and also lastly, uh, we studied about the isomers and enteromers, uh, diastromers, and also uh, identicals. Huh? And lastly, uh, we know how to uh, draw the all the stereoisomers or compounds based on this formula to power of n. And after that, you have to double check the correlations between both stereoisomers compounds. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. Uh, we just finished chapter five. So for the next Monday, we will do more exercise for chapter four, as a coordinator asked me to do this. And maybe on Wednesday, we'll continue chapter six. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you very, very much. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'm looking forward to see everybody uh, next week. Okay. And I will post as soon as possible because I have to render in the videos and so on. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, see you again. Yes, oh, oh, oh. Come on, come on. Sure, hey. Let's go. Girl, I see you over there in the corner. Of the dance floor and I know, I know you. I think shy. Looking at the corner of your eyes. So I my heart up off the floor, move my feet closer to yours, catch my breath and I say, I'm the one you're looking for, baby. So come on, come on, dance a little dance, take my hand, darling, take a chance, you be my queen, I'll be your king, show you everything that you've been missing, short it. So come on, come on, dance a little dance, got me in a trance and just one glance, so oh, don't wait no more, I'm me, I'm more. Girl, I see you over there hesitating, deliberating, you keep me waiting on a sign, looking at the corner of your eyes, so I pick my feet up off the floor, move my hips closer to yours, catch my breath and I say, I'm the one you're looking for, so come on, come on, dance a little dance, take my hand, darling, take a chance, you be my queen, I'll be your king, show you everything that you've been so come on, come on, dance a little dance Got me in a trance and just one glance So don't wait no more, I'm me, I'm more I'm the one you're looking for, shorty I'll be the one you're looking for, shorty So come on the dance floor and baby show me All your moves, all your grooves Shorty, I got something to prove to you So come on, come on, take a little chance Got me in a trance and just one glance So don't wait no more, I'm me, I'm more Just one glance, so don't wait no more.